Hello, Comic Army. It's New Comic Book Day. I'm about to go into my LCS Retro Rocket Comics to see what's on my pull list. Let's go. Okay, welcome inside Retro Rocket Comics. Let's take a look at some of the new releases that dropped today. I see we have a new Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. This is the issue I've been waiting for. This is issue 5 that features Man-Thing 2099. We have a new Incredible Hulk. We have a new Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, issue number 2, the Gang War tie-in. Dead X-Men, issue number 1. Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars Battle World, issue number three. It's a nice cover. New Carnage, issue number three. I believe there's a new Fantastic Four this week as well. We have a brand new Spider Boy that's dropping. That might be a little bit of a key. It's got some a couple first appearances in it, I believe. Okay, let's take a look at what new DC books came out. So back here, we have a nice Nakayama variant for, I believe, Batman and Robin. World's Finest, the annual. Dropped this week. Hmm. Also, Titans. There's a new Neil before Zod, I believe, dropping next week. But Power Girl has some nice covers this week. We have a foil. Very nice one. Eh, this one's okay. I, I think this one's probably my favorite of the Power Girl variants that are dropping. All right, let's take a look at the indies. So we have a book from a blaze called The Agent, Charred Remains. Fearless Dawn, Rick and Morty. Okay, let's go take a look at the pull list. Hello, Comic Army. My name is Chris the Comic Vet. I hope this video finds you safe and well. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick walking around tour of Retro Rocket Comics. My LCS, your LCS, friend of my channel, friend of your channel. Uh, you'd be doing me a solid if you followed Retro Rocket Comics across all their social media platforms and give their website a follow and a visit as well. So this week, my pull list is a little bit bigger than what I actually thought it was going to be, but there's a lot of good stories in here. But first, let's start with those free giveaways. So this is Marvel Free Previews featuring Blood Hunt number one on the cover. And uh, I am going to read this. I, I got to admit, I'm going to read this. But I'm kind of wondering, is Marvel just ripping off DC versus Vampires? You know, that solid story that I've been singing the praises about for the better part of two years so we'll see where this goes now i believe this is just going to be a five issue limited series with blade as the main star of the story but it does promise some deaths in here as well so we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go through this and pick up my foc stuff uh this is the monthly catalog for idw featuring a lot of the teenage mutant ninja turtles and their their universe on there and of course last but not least is dc connect which features house of brainiac the superman tie-in looks like it could be pretty good it's uh going to be crossing over a bunch of titles action superman and uh the house of brainiac special issue number one okay let's get into my new comic book day haul and as always i start with spider-man this is finally the conclusion of the excellent spine tingling spider-man just went with the normal cover a looking forward to finishing this limited series also it's uh the conclusion of mcgill o'hara spider-man 2099 uh issue number five this has been an incredibly fun read i highly suggest you pick up these issues uh this one of course features man thing but kind of looks like so man thing 2099 kind of looks like 
a morph of Man-Thing and Warlock from the New Mutants. But, uh, so we'll see where this one goes. Now it's time for cover of the week. My cover of the week uh, is done by artist Federico Vincentini, and it belongs to Spider Boy. And uh, yeah, this Stormbreakers variant just spotlights this incredible piece of artwork. So we'll see if I can zoom in a little bit here. So yeah, I know Stormbreaker variants always feature brilliant art, but this one really, really is well done. So yeah, Federico Vincentini. Cover of the week belongs to Spider-Boy. So last month I read Wolverine number one, you know, the happy birthday issue, and uh, which was the kickoff to the Sabretooth War. I didn't think I'd like it that much, but I did. It was really, really good. So I went with uh, Saber, the Sabretooth War Part 2, which is in Wolverine issue 42. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of an interesting cover here with Wolverine's head being served up on the platter by Sabretooth. But yeah, uh, looking forward to reading this. I hope that they carry on that, uh, that fun that was in the last issue. And I like that they have a, a parental advisory on the cover here. All right, another book that I really enjoyed last month was Avengers Twilight, issue number one. You know, with the aged out Avengers, uh, the cover featured Captain America, uh, done by Alex Ross, and this one is another great, great Alex Ross cover uh, for Avengers Twilight, issue two, featuring Tony Stark's son as Iron Man. So a little bit of a... A little bit of a buzz book for those that are interested in that kind of thing. Uh, another great cover belongs to issue 8 of The Incredible Hulk. With the Hulk and Ghost Rider on the cover there. Alright. Let's switch over to some independence. Uh, this is Duke issue number 2. From the Inner John Universe. see where this goes uh, a book I'm hoping is really well done it's from well Kid Kudai this is moon moon man number one with Kyle Higgins uh, writing it as well uh, the synopsis of the book when I read it seemed really really interesting so I'm going to pull it I pulled the trigger on this and uh, we'll see where it goes Moon Man issue number one, uh, a series by James Tynan IV that I've been quietly enjoying is World Tree. This is World Tree issue number seven. And uh, let's flip over to DC. Now this is not a, a new book at all. Uh, this is a representation of how kind Chris from Retro Rocket Comics is to me. And again, I said it before and I'll say it again. I hope that you develop a relationship with your LCS owner like I have, where it's more than just customer and salesperson that I hope that you gain a friendship with that. And Chris knows that I am a huge Jenny Frizen fan and he hooked me up with uh, Future State Wonder Woman issue number two, the B cover done by Jenny Frizen, but autographed by Jenny Frizen. So yeah, this uh, this great cover of Your Floor by Jenny Frizen, uh, he got signed. And it was signed at New York City Comic Con. I hope one day they make it to New York City Comic Con, to be honest with you. Maybe this year. But Chris, thank you for this. It goes right, it'll go right into the PC. Uh, very thankful to have a Frizen autograph with my Frizen collection. And uh, yeah, the, the New York City Comic Con autograph book. So what say you, Comic Army? What was your cover of the week? What book are you looking forward to reading the most? Uh, it's a tough call for me. That McGill book I'm really looking forward to. Spine-tingling spine Spider-Man I'm really, really excited for. World Tree has been very good as well. That's why I bought all those books, let's be honest. 
At this point, I'm gonna ask you to please hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Go ahead and leave a comment and consider joining the comic army by becoming a member of the channel. Till we see you again, thank you for your time.